Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey and... Queen! Yay! Okay, like I promised you yesterday, if I didn't cut that out of the video, hmm. we got a bunch of shit that we're gonna do today. And I said that I would bring you along. So, I just jokingly said, well, so we're gonna go to the three ships closer here and get a road brew, then go to a pen lover's paradise, and then go back to the other three ships for afternoon brew. And she laughed, but she knows that that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, yeah, uh, only one delivery today. I think that I'm gonna be getting those two 22 plug uh, surge suppressors, which means if I get a wild hair up my ass, I can actually redo all the plugs in the office and the studio, uh, which is necessary. And then when I get all the other shit tomorrow, uh, whether I need that to do any project or not, uh, you know, I have my day to play. Already though, having those two Zhuan M20C lights hooked up as my main lights, I didn't like it. Yes, they're super bright, but they just seemed to be very harsh. It gave me that like fake amateurish using a, a spotlight from Home Depot kind of a feel. I put up the other one that I used to have with the softbox and all that shit. And I put it on that side because it goes right in by the window and it's not in my way and I won't hit my freaking head on it 20 times a day. I hooked that back up and left this one up and already a thousand percent better. So perfect. Oh, and I also redid the arm so that all of the weight was over the table and I jiggled it and everything and all those sandbags, those did the trick too. So that table's not going anywhere. There's a spider on the ceiling right above your head. It's Ag very small. Again? I... Okay, so Spidey's back, apparently, right above my head now. Um, not that I expected him to stay up there, but... It's very small. Yeah, it He's is right small. Right there, oh, he Because he was, like, right here, and I opened this up and let him get in there, and then I shut this the other day on film. But apparently he's back. So, the adventures of little spider... Hopefully not little spider head face ugger. We're just gonna go get some road brew and and then head to a pen lover's paradise, which I have mentioned before. That's that's where we get all of our fountain pens and all that kind of shit. And she wants to get a new pen. I need some blue ink too. And some blue ink for her fountain pen and, and for some reason I don't have any blue ink left. Anywho, so yeah, we're gonna go to a pen lover's paradise and probably spend stupid amount of money on a bunch of dumb shit we don't need, but but that's what it's all about. Uh, and then we'll figure out what's going on after that. So, the three ships. Oh, okay, kids. A buy-in we went. Hmm. She got another Lamy. Cobalt. Cobalt blue, yes. Fountain pen with some new Japanese blue ink. And I got a Bastion carbon fiber ballpoint pen. It was pricey. But I was like, hmm, I know carbon fiber is expensive, but why is this, why is this that much? Until I got it out of the display case and picked it up. Uh, I could kill somebody with this pen. It's got a lot of weight to it. It is like a nice, substantial pen. And the coolest thing is that it can take, uh, what did she say, a Parker style refill because I was like this isn't like some weird ass like special order thing that I gotta you know buy something from the middle of the desert and wait 10 years for it to get here no it's just a standard Parker refill but more importantly it can take a Fisher space pen refill so yeah those things last a long ass time and they write in any condition anyways yes we got new pens and ink and all that stuff and the one was very nice as always and she gave her a free converter for her pen and gave me a free Fisher space pen refill, you know, because we go there a lot. Well, not a lot, but she remembers us. I got and, to pet the yeah, dog. She got to pet the dog, which is always a nice thing. And the woman said he's been like really relaxed. He usually doesn't let people do that, but she's like the dog person. So, <sighs> and it continues to piss rain, which kind of puts a damper on things. Cause you know, it seems like the only time we've gone out in the past month, it's always fucking raining. So it's winter. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, on to the next adventure. Here's shit in your eye. It's not a shot because when we got road brew, 
at the other place I got my shot there but uh, we're kind of doing a, a double so we got lunch too this is an uncle hero with some chips and a freshie so there you go time to eat okay kids so back in the studio as you can see I well maybe you can't see it but I can see it very clearly what I have done is I have removed one of these Zhuan M20C lights from the setup why because I didn't like it I still have one there which is sort of acting as the 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 light for this side but on this side I put my falcon eyes back up and earlier I was saying angel eyes because I was brain farting and I needed caffeine but I put my falcon eyes light back up because God, it just looks so good my biggest problem was that I had this set up with those two lights and it just it looked so artificial it just didn't look natural things didn't look right and it was bugging me and I knew that it was bugging me the other thing is is that oof, one of the reasons that I got this whole setup was so that I could take it with me on the road so when I'm in a hotel and I've got shit light I've got a light here not to mention I can use this for a bunch of other shit I mean I had these turned down to one percent that that's how crazy it was one percent on each light and it just was it just was so harsh and artificial so anyways that's all been taken care of I put that light back up and I have mounted it in such a way that it is right over the end of the table it's not moving things are fantastic I'm happy with it and then when I put this light on behind me it uh you know it, it keeps super harsh shadows from going back there not that that matters either okay what else have I done I did get my two 22 outlet surge suppressors but because it's such a shit day out it's incredibly dark in here and once I unplug all that stuff I won't have any light and that's going to make it just that much more difficult to do and I don't feel like doing it so I'm not going to do that today I might not even do it tomorrow because tomorrow it's supposed to be another overcast day but Friday it's supposed to be a bright and sunny day so if I get my ass up here in the morning which I will because she's um, going to have to go to work I will have the entire room filled with morning sunlight which will be probably more than enough to make it not as awful as it would be if I did it right now so I told you that the queen and I had gone to a pen lovers paradise today and you know she needed a new pen and I decided to get myself a new work pen that wasn't a fountain pen because I have found myself many times it's certainly more than I should have without any ink in my in my fountain pen and then I just start scraping and end up not being able to take notes and having to rely on my shitty monkey brain to remember stuff so this time I wanted to get a ballpoint pen and I started looking around because I go by sight and by feel if I look at it and it catches my eye and then I feel it and it feels right then that's the pen for me so I ended up getting this bastion carbon fiber bolt action pen so it's got this little bolt here that boom now it's open and then mm, now it's closed this thing's beefy and I put it all together because again it can take a Fisher space pen insert into it and she ended up giving me one of those for free and I put that in here because those Fisher space pens are like amazing they last a really long time and you can write upside down over water over freaking oil all that kind of shit which is perfect for me and so I showed my wife she's like I didn't even see really what you got and she looked at the picture on the box but then I took it down to her and she's like oh that's kind of oh <laughs> like she's like wow that's got a lot of weight to it and I was like yes yes it does so just my kind of pen a nice rough tough pen that's got some weight to it and you know the bolt action thing is cool apparently it's uh it's like a fidgety thing that you can play with which I won't do because I don't do fidget spinners or any of that kind of shit and I don't want to break it because it's expensive and um, also it's carbon fiber and again the carbon fiber is misleading because you think oh carbon fiber it's going to be really light and then you pick it up and you're like holy crap so that's my new work pen could be my uh, most used pen because I always have 
pens with me. I got a shit ton of them in my bag. I got them laying all over the place. A lot of fountain pens and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to stop using fountain pens, but, you know, this definitely is going to be my workhorse pen. So just wanted to show you that and, you know, kind of go from there. So that's that's pretty much it. It, it has been a very busy day, despite the fact that for some reason every time her and I go out, it's pissing rain. So no more of that shit. I am going to um, finish this up now, right now with you guys. And then I'm probably going to, uh, it's a little bit too early to eat dinner, but I, I don't know. I'm getting antsy. I got shit to do. I think that's more than enough. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.